for your Minnesota Team Award. Power forward at six nine. Number eleven. No. the point at six feet. Number ten, Mike Conley. At forward, standing six nine. Number three, Jaden McDaniels. Seven feet long, number 27, Lee Gobert. Now we go, 6'4", number 5, Anthony Edwards. Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here along with analyst Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Jaden Ivey. The surge in his free throw percentage this month is noticeable. He's looked a lot more comfortable at the line. Part of his job now should be attacking the D, going head on, drawing fouls, and trying to ride this high school. And now the opening lineup for Detroit. Guard spots filled by Cunningham and Ivy. Then it's Durant. And it's Vontecchio in at the three seconds. And for the Timberwolves. Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. Reed is out there with Jaden McDaniel. And it's Gobert in at the five. And Steve, we're not seeing as many back-to-back -back games as we used to. That's been a point of emphasis in the scheduling in recent years. It takes time to bounce back after every game and credit the NBA for cutting down on these back-to-backs. Fewer of them means healthier players and fresher legs. And the Pistons with possession here. After Anthony Edwards missed from long range. Cunningham against Cunningham. And they double up Cunningham. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Ivy. And a miss there on the triple. So for the Pistons, their last game a loss to New York. Here is Edwards. Down low. Reed gets the bucket. Reed's got the first points up on the board tonight here for the Timberwolves. Here are the Pistons with the ball. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game play. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. Yes, the other team is feeding off that enthusiasm. You have to try and match that energy. Here's Conley following the basket by Cade Cunningham. And here's Edwards from the arc. Rebounded by Cade Cunningham. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Minnesota's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. McDaniels dishes to come. Edwards passes to Gobert. Back to Edwards. And he uses the glass on the lane. And great strength and body control from Edwards. Able to finish through the contact. Passes it to Fontecchio. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Now oh, here's Edwards. 23 points his last outing. Reed gets the bucket. Oh, nice read there from Edwards. He's on for sharing the well. The Pistons have gone two for four from the field so far today. Just 
just five to shoot. Detroit needs to get off a shot. He gets that one. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. The Timberwolves have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. After two consecutive first-round exits, Greg, the Timberwolves are looking to take that next step. And with Anthony Edwards at the helm, I think they will soon. But you have to remember, he is only 22 years old. And when your star is that young, you typically have to endure some growing pains before breaking through. And they don't want to get in the habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Cunningham. He's someone who's a factor on any given night, averaging more than 22 points a game. Ivy with the bucket. Gotta love how competitive Ivy is. Love seeing him come right back with a triple. Conley against Cunningham. Right side, Edwards. Gobert in the corner. Timberwolves passing it around. Conley sets a screen for Gobert. For three, Edwards. Duran pulls it in. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. But let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Cunningham passes to Duran. Cunningham inside. Over by Conley. Cunningham gets the bucket. Aggressive shot from Cunningham inside. Getting to that point blank shot. Ivy against Edwards. Pass to Gobert. Now Reed. For three, Edwards. Does not score again. That's his fourth miss against one mate. Cunningham looking it over. They set the pick. Over Conley. Cunningham's shot is off. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. To the middle. And finished off by Gobert. Put some muscle on that dunk. Gobert slams it in. And the pass to Cunningham. Inside. In the corner, Ivy with it. Cunningham outside. Here's Fontecchio. A three-pointer off the mark. And so Conley will bring the ball up to the Minnesota Timberwolves. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. Yeah, and I think the perimeter game is what helped them in that one. Consistent from out beyond the arc. We talk a lot about shot selection. And we saw why. You want to avoid empty possessions. Now, McDaniels following the miss by Michael Conley from deep. Kicks it to Cunningham. Edwards against Ivy. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. The Pistons shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. free throw no good here we see the Detroit Pistons Greg a franchise known for stifling defense and going back to back with the bad boys then the amazing 2004 title team that shut down Shaq and Kobe and the Pistons have been great they've had that defense first mentality and he's good on the second For Minnesota, they've gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. No one near Edwards as he lets it fall. Drills the three-pointer. Edwards got five points so far. Ivy against Edwards. Now, here's Ivy. He's guarded closer. And a wide-open look for Cunningham. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. 
man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Big coming, big coming. Three, three, three. Outside, Edwards. Back to Conley. For the three, Duran pulls it in. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Cunningham against Conley. They set the pick from outside the arc, and another three for Detroit. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Conley against Cunningham. It's Edwards on the wing. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Edwards got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Minnesota. Montecchio passes to Cunningham. Right wing. Pass to Ivy. Shoots the three. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Dialed in from deep. Jaden wants to keep improving this part of his game. Cunningham against Conley. Passes it to Reed. Here's Gobert. Detroit with the rebound. Durin's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the paint. Boom! He jams it straight down. The skill guard Cunningham has a fantastic feel for when his teammates are uncovered. And here is Conley. 14 points from him the last game against Golden State. And he wrecked havoc on defense with four steals for the game. Oh, here is Edwards. Six-point game. Comes up empty down low. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Ivy finds Cunningham. Pass to Fontecchio. Lock at six. Here's the teardrop. A second-chance effort. And rejection by McDaniel. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage. <laughs> Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. Checked in for McDaniel. Alexander Walker comes in for Edwards. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Mike Conley. Detroit leading by four. Steps back. Here's Sasser. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against the Knicks in New York. And not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. A nice shot by Flynn. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Here's the pass to McLaughlin. Anderson outside. Now, here's Reed. Tight defense on him. That shot wide open. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmarked of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. From deep. The rebound by Anderson. Timberwolves trail by four. To the right side. Here's Alexander Walker. Here's McLaughlin. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Playing with good instincts. Nikhil making those around him better. And, well, Detroit shooting has been tremendous early. Their offense looking primed and ready for this match. We've got 118 left to play here in the first. Two points. That one goes. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Oh, 
misses the baby hook. Just doing the job on the backboard. This is it to grind. And the shot goes down. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for Detroit. Establishing a paint presence early in the game, it really helps and pays big dividends down the line because it frees up your perimeter. And they've also been effective from beyond the arc tonight. And if that continues, guys, it can really open up the rest of their offense. Timberwolves trail by six. Alexander Walker passes to Warren. Outside, Edward. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Count it good. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Pass to Sasser. Cunningham outside. Over Edwards. Detroit, no good that time either. Now, here's Warren. Edwards looking it over. Doesn't go that time. And so the first quarter is in the books. Pistons ahead. They're up by four. And we'll get it going after this from the top. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and what stands out to you from the Pistons so far in this one aggressive at running guys to the backboard you could tell it was part of their game plan coming in and they have the guys to do it play to your strengths and they can make up for some of your weaknesses Pistons leading by four here are the five Detroit has to start the second quarter you've got Wiseman Met who is out there with Cunningham. And it's Grimes in at the small forward. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Smitty, even though the injuries limited Kate Cunningham in those first two seasons, his ceiling has to remain very high. It is, G.A., because of his basketball IQ and court vision. They are impressive for his age. He's got the size shoot, and shoot. athleticism. And plus, he's dedicated on getting better. First free throw is good. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And Kevin, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. And so Cunningham nails both of them. And it didn't take long for Anthony Edwards to cement himself, Greg, as Minnesota's franchise player. He is one of the best young players in the league with clear superstar potential. The future of the Timberwolves starts with Edwards. Here's Alexander Walker. Hasn't made one yet. Shot clock at five. Here's McLaughlin. Wiseman with the rebound. Detroit leading by six. Here's Grimes, the pass to Cunningham. Here's Medu. Nice ball movement by Detroit. There's the screen to the inside. Good for the Baskin, starting off one for one with that shot. Hey guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Down low. 
nice shot by Anderson. A high percentage look for Kyle has the size and length to be a factor inside. Detroit's gone five and nine when they put up a three-point shot tonight. Grimes passes to Cunningham. A seven-footer falls. Cunningham's got the lead up to eight now for the Pistons. The night is proven why Cunningham was the top pick in the draft. K can take over games. And now the Pistons fast break. Looking now at the numbers for Cade Cunningham. Since the break, he's been simply stellar. Averaging 22 points per, 8 assists, and 5 rebounds. And the phrase, stats don't lie, absolutely applies here. He's been a monster on the court for this team. He's versatile. He's prolific. There really isn't much a defense can do once he catches fire. The first free throw is good. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Warren's checked in for Minnesota. He hits both from the strike. And it took them a while to find their touch at the line, but they have been red hot here in the second quarter. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Rudy Gobert is a fierce competitor. He says the average fan might not understand what I bring to the table, but the GMs in the league do. I want to be the best defensive player of all time. I want to be a force, and I want to win championships. I've got to set the tone every night. Kevin? And he does. He is a stopper, no doubt about it. David, thank you. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Minnesota again turning it over. As we close in on the start of the playoffs, let's see how the East is stacking up. We'll take a look at the Pistons. Their season nearly over unless a form of miracle happens. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. McDaniels comes in for T.J. Warren. And it's Conley in for Jordan McLaughlin. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Pass to Fonchecchio. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And here are the top free throw shooting teams this month. You don't want to put these guys in the line too often. The Pistons second. And they've had a lot of success at the free throw line converting those at a high level. So I'd look for them to continue to attack the rim. Timberwolves trail by 10. Now Edwards. He's got 14. Anderson outside. Here's McDaniels. No good from outside. The Pistons have gone 3 of 4 from the floor here in the second quarter. Passes to Ivy. To the paint. It's tipped. Stolen by Anderson. Conley into the lane. Pass to Alexander Walker. Out to Conley. Floats one up, and the layup is good. Conley's got his first points of the game. Mike Conley looking comfortable in the post. Even with the defense draped all over him, he gets it to go. Cunningham's shot is off. And so Edwards will bring it up for Minnesota. Trailing here by eight. Their last encounter was in Detroit where they were able to handle the Pistons. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. You know what it is. That's good advanced scouting. They knew what they were in for and they were ready. At the line for your triple balls. Anthony Edwards. One shot. Free throw good, Edwards. And 
talented in so many ways. Edwards is focusing on two things, the refining of his shot mechanics and the sustained level of engagement. Detroit, no good that time either. Timberwolves trail by five. McDaniels passes to Conley. Over Sessler. And again, it's Minnesota converting. Even with a hand in his face, Conley is too good. Keeps his focus at all times. Takes a step back. Cunningham inside. Edwards there. Cunningham's shot is off. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Now here's Anderson following the miss by Kate Cunningham. They get the rebound. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. Stolen by Michael Conley. Missile blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. This season, he has been absolutely locked in at the free throw line. How about 90%? The Timberwolves making a switch here. Go Bears checked in. And it's tied up with that one. The true definition of a veteran. Mike Conley, an integral part of this team. Cunningham against Conley. Fires for three. Cunningham's shot is off. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Conley kicks to Edwards, and it's Jaden Ivey with the foul. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bonus. And here's Edwards from the arc. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. Cunningham outside. Ivy dishes to Cunningham. Count that bucket. Cunningham's got 16. Working off the ball, you still have to keep track of Cunningham. He finds ways to score. And the pass to Conley. Here's Gobert, defended by Gibson. Here's Conley. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. The Pistons have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. Cunningham passes to Ivan. That's in. Coming off the assist from Cunningham. Cunningham's got three assists tonight. Gobert with a screen on Cunningham. And finished off by Gobert. He is so good at pick and roll. When the defense plays up on him, he burns him with the pass. Cunningham against Conley. Ivy on the wing. Nine points last game out. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. An impressive bucket by Jaden Ivey, not letting the contact get to him. Pass to Gobert. He dishes it to Conley. Over Cunningham. Conley's shot is off. Pistons leading by three. Ivey with it. 11 points in the game. Pass to Fongecchio. And here's Ivy, six on the shot clock, from outside, off the mark. Here's Alexander Walker, still yet to score. Edwards passes to Conley. He kicks to McDaniels. There's a good screen. And it's off from three-point range. 
Detroit's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Pass to Cunningham. Let's it go with the three. A rebound by the Timberwolves. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end, yet they continue to lead. Conley, the pass to Gobert. Stripped it away. Fontecchio. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Six to shoot. For three. Hits it from three-point range. He has six. Woo! He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. subbed in for Cunningham. Outside Conley. And here is McDaniel. No scoring in this one. Gobert with a screen on Flynn. Five on the clock. Here's Conley. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. Detroit leading by six. Flynn the pass to Ivy. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. A really strong second quarter in terms of scoring the basketball. The Timberwolves have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the second quarter. A nice efficient 50%. Kindly the pass to Kobe. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. That's on Jalen Durham. Good use of power by Rudy. Getting the shot in the air despite the foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. A free throw drops for Gobert. A seasoned vet. Rudy Gobert, a double-double machine. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Edwards is checked in. Cunningham, he's checked in for the Pistons. We got this, we got this. And Gobert drops them both. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Now, here's Ivy. He's got 11. Right wing, over in the corner, Cunningham. And again, it's the Pistons from deep. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Timberwolves trail by nine. Gobert with a screen on Cunningham. Takes the 13-footer. Connects the jumper drops. Conley's got 11 points. What you like about Conley, he has a nice assortment of shots in that mid-range area. And there's the pass to Ivan. 137 left here in the second. Bucket is good. Ten points for him. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Cunningham against Conley. Has to read. Takes a three. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got assist number five here tonight. Finding a man wide open. Mike Conley does an exceptional job of leading this team. And he's got his first chance at the line here. 76% at the strike for him thus far this season.
And that one falls for Reed. And so it's Cunningham with it. He brings it up for the Detroit Pistons. They've led by as much as 10. On the line, the shot misses. Timberwolves trail by five. Nick Daniels finds Edwards. Driving inside. Back to McDaniel. And another three for Minnesota. And it's showing he can make plays for others. Edwards moving it with conviction. Ivy against Edwards. Ivy passes to Durant. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. The Pistons have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. Two shots. He's off on the first. And the second free throw, good. There's 37 seconds left in the first half of the game. Dishes it to Edwards. Tries from 10. And the shot is long. Pistons leading by three. Kicks to Cunningham. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Pocket six. With the shot. And the jumper is good. Cunningham's got 21 in the game. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even back. Pistons lead by five. Time now for the halftime break. With the third quarter soon to follow. Right here on 2K Sports. Hello and welcome basketball fans. The first half coming to an end with a deficit for the Minnesota Timberwolves. We were just in the green room watching this game. What was your highlight of the first half? I really like those wings. Oh, you talking about the game or the wings? Anyway, I like the wings we had in the back. Yeah, Kenny. I like the hummus. The Kenny. hummus was pretty that good. That sauce on point. Oh, yes it was. You know, I actually was talking about the game. Uh, why's it always gotta be about food with you two? Now back to our game. Pretty impressive first half for the Detroit Pistons. So far, they're being the more physical team on the boards. They've got that grit, that grind mentality, the kind of stuff coaches love to see. What I like is the style of play you can be consistent with. Even when shots are going down for you, you can keep the pace. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. Let's get a of applause. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You look at Kate Cunningham in this game, he's been everywhere. His play so far is what fans love about him. He has gone right at the defense time and time again. And not standing around, not selling for perimeter shots. He's looking to attack. The wing set for him, Edwards and McDaniel. Gobert is out there with Nas Reed. And it's Conley in at the one. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Now, here's Durham. Here's Fontecchio. And another three for Detroit. Yeah, clearly a defensive lapse there. He is automatic from deep if you're going to leave him that wide open. Big time mistake. Conley against Cunningham. 
Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. How about that from Conley? The little guy taking it inside and forcing the issue. The Timberwolves shoot their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. And that one falls for Mike Conley. And so Mike Conley nails both of them. I'll tell you, he doesn't get points away. Excellent job from the line. There's the lob to the hoop. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Passes it to Edwards. And Gobert kicks to Edwards. Timberwolves passing it around. Conley the pass to Gobert. And here's Edwards from the arc. Rebound by the Pistons. Durin's got seven rebounds in the game. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Inside, the kick out to Cunningham. Thirteen feet away, and there's another one for the Pistons. As the lead continues to grow, this is just heady, sound basketball. They have just nailed their halftime adjustments. That's for sure. They don't want to have to sweat this one out. They're looking to pull away. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alton. David. Thank you, Kevin. The Timberwolves have gone twin towers with Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert. Gobert says, I love playing with another dominant big because I've always thought that I could pass. I know that I can make guys around me better. Cat says, we complement each other. He's a generational talent on defense, and I think I'm a generational talent on offense. Kevin, I'm a generational talent on sidelines too. <laughs> you are indeed, and that's why you are in Springfield. No argument here, David, thank you. That's good from Durham. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Pass to Conley. Feeds it to Gobert and finished off by Gobert. Yeah, a nice, strong finish on the inside. But great, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. The pass to Durant. The dish to Ivy. To the wing on the left. Phone Tecchio. He has seven. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Even though that one didn't go down, I like the offensive game plan here. Three for four coming out of the break. Here's McDaniels, and there's another one for the Timberwolves. Three out of four coming out of the half, showing good execution on the offensive end. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now, here in the third. Pass to Cunningham. Floats one. He gets it in there. Cunningham's got 23 points. Firing on all cylinders here in the third. Only one miss in five attempts. Ivy against Edwards to the middle. 
Now here's Conley. G right on him. Rebounded by Cade Cunningham. Pistons leading by eight. He dishes it to Ivy. Passes it to Duran. Sweet move. Reed with the rebound. Reed's got his fourth rebound in this one. Edwards against Ivy. Edwards kicks to Reed. Pass to McDaniels. Fires from deep. Knocks down the three ball. McDaniels got his third bucket of the night. How about the pass from Gobert? Scanning the floor well and spotting his open teammate. He lobs it up. And Durin slams it in. And the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And, Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. Now here's Edwards. 19 points in the game. Into the lane. They swipe it. Cunningham against Cup. Cunningham dishes it to Ivy. The pass to Durant. to phone check here. Stolen by McDaniels. Feeds it to Edwards. Rebound by the Pistons. They've led by as much as 10. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Timberwolves trail by seven. Now here is Conley. 13 points in the game. Gobert with a screen for Conley. Shoots over Duran. Conley gets the bucket. Conley's got 15 points. Mike Conley has really improved his jump shot. He is shooting it with a lot of confidence now. This is to Ivy. Cunningham outside. Just five on the clock. From downtown, he doesn't hit that one. Minnesota's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Edwards inside, Ivy defending. Now McDaniels, he's got eight. This is a two Edwards. Offline with his three. Detroit leading by five. Kicks to Ivy. Down low to the paint. Shots good by Durin. He's got nine. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. And there's the feed to Edwards. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And Detroit gets called for the foul. And how about the commitment from Edwards for refusing to give up on that play? And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Pistons. It's just a passing Two. clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. And another thing they've been doing all game long is knocking down the three. Shooting has been a big part of their game plan tonight. And he sinks the second. Here's Sasser. Nothing on the board. Pass to Duran. He kicks it to Ivy. That shot misses. Great tee that time from Edward. Reed with it. He's got 11. Edwards can't hit. Here's Sasser. Back to Ivy. There's the pick. This one for three. Gobert pulls it in. 
Gobert's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Nick Daniels finds Conley. Now, here's Reed. Not a lot of room. Here's McDaniels. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Detroit leading by three. Pass to Durant. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Mike Conley. And looking at his offensive numbers in the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. No good on that one. Anderson, he's checked in for Minnesota. Alexander Walker comes in for Edwards. And Detroit with a change here, too. Grimes is checked in. No good on the second free throw. Timberwolves trail by three. Here's Alexander Walker. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Pass to Sasser. Fontecchio. Seven points in the game. Nice ball movement by Detroit. And the shot goes in. 11 points here for Jalen Durant. Fontecchio. Anto Conley will bring the ball up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. There's the pass to Anderson. And he drops it in from the low post. Anderson's got his second basket of the night. You love the subtle adjustments that Kyle can make. That allows him to make contested shots. Now, here's Ivy. He's covered closely. Passes it to Fonjecchio. Shot clock at six. Pass to Sasser. Let's it go from deep. And it's McDaniels with the rebound. McDaniels got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Alexander Walker. Now Conley. Now the pass to Reed. A fadeaway. Detroit with the rebound. Durin's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Now, here's Ivy. Guarded by Reed. Pass to Sasser. Here's Grimes. And here is Durin. 11 points in the game. And the three ball is good. Ivy's got 14 points for the game. Off the ball, Jane Ivy with the concentration on that shot. Here's Alexander Walker. Ivy defending. Passes to Reed. Anderson outside. And here's Conley outside. And it's Fontecchio with the rebound. Pistons leading by six. 109 left in the third quarter of the game. Now, here's Durant. McDaniels defending. Here's Ivy. And another three for Detroit. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. Now, here's Conley. 15 points in the game. It's to Reed. And he drives in the rim-rattling two-handed jam. And he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Duran. Nice feed from Jaden. You can see him making strides as a playmaker. Now here is Conley. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Sasser, covered by Conley. Here he goes. Sasser can't hit. 
How is it possible? Wide open to him. And now here's Conley, guarded closer. From the arc. Drains it from beyond the arc. Conley's got seven points for the quarter. Mike Conley makes just enough of these to keep the defense Honest. And so it's the Detroit Pistons. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. for Detroit here in the fourth. Jaden Ivey is out there with Medu. Then it's Cunningham. Then it's Duran. And it's Sasser in at point guard. Now here's Edwards. Puts up a three. Rebounded by the Pistons. They've led by as much as ten. Here's Cunningham. Sweet little floater. Cunningham's got 25 points in the game. I love the skill level of K. Cunningham. He has every shot in the book. Edwards drives in. Anderson wide open. Hands it from downtown. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Now, here's Cunningham. And he gets it to go. He's got 27. Effective play right there. Cunningham knows the pick and roll will get him what he wants. Back to Edwards. And finished off by Edwards. And what a creative finisher. Edwards is so fast in how he gets up to throw it down. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. The pass to Ike. Inside. And Duran slams it in. Defensively, you have to honor Ivy as a score. That opens up passing lanes. Edwards against Cunningham. Outside Edwards. Anderson outside. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Nine points for Kyle Anderson. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. And I don't think he expected to get that good of a look. Poor communication defensively. Now, here's Ivy. And Cunningham with the slam. Too easy for K. He can really fly. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Now Conley. Anderson the screen. It's good, and the Pistons lead has cut down now to just five on the bucket from Conley. Well above his scoring average tonight. Conley understands when the team needs points from him. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Checked in for T.J. Warren. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Mike Conley. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? 
Hey guys, I had a chance to listen to what Monty Williams discussed with his players. Now he kept it simple in the huddle. He said, play smart. If we don't beat ourselves, we walk away with the win. Keep it simple, and we got this. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Here is Edwards, following the basket by Kate Cunningham. Edwards drives in over Cunningham. It'll go, and the Detroit lead has come down now to just five on the basket from Edwards. Well, you see the size and the strength and, and that ability inside. Edwards can play like a powerful hurt at times. Now, here's Cunningham. Over Edwards. Cunningham's shot is off. And it's Anderson with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Pass to McLaughlin. The dish to Gobert. Pass to McLaughlin. Puts up a deep three. Offensive rebound. And Gobert kicks to Edwards. And slam dunk by Gobert. And he's now got the double up. 10 points and 10 rebounds. Excellent big man play from Gobert. Using his size to save the play. Cunningham against Edwards. Cunningham passes to Flynn. Launches it. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got the class covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Pass to McLaughlin. And here's Edwards from the arc. Nailed from three-point land. Edwards got the game tied up here for the Timberwolves. For Detroit, they've gone five and seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Here's Cunningham, and they double up Cunningham. Drives with the bucket. This is how you move the rock. K. Cunningham showing a real desire to involve his teammates. against Edwards. To the left wing. Here's Alexander Walker. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Cunningham up top. Defended by Gobert. The nine-foot shot. Cunningham's shot is off. Timberwolves trail by three. The pass to McLaughlin. to go bear. Here's Alexander Walker. Puts up a deep three. And he's good on the three ball. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. Flynn the pass to Weissman. He dishes it to Cunningham. Off target from three-point range. He's going to have to wait to hit his first two of this half. He had three at the break. Outside, Edwards. To the inside, Gobert. And finished off by Gobert. I mean, he's tailor-made for those pick-and-roll sets. Gobert, a big-time finisher on the move. The Pistons trailing. Here's Grimes. Passes it to Cunningham. With the teardrop, Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seated. Anderson against Flynn. Gobert with a screen on Cunningham. And here's Edwards from the arc. Here's Gobert. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Now it's a four-point Minnesota lead. Detroit's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Missed 
Cousins passing it around. And yes, it's good. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. And the Timberwolves call timing. And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. Minnesota making some changes. Reed, he's checked in for Anderson. Nick Daniels comes in for Alexander Walker. And Mike Conley is subbed in for Jordan McLaughlin. Now here is Conley. Has to read. Now here is Edwards. A three. Knocks down the three ball. Edwards got the lead up to five now for Minnesota. And so good off the bounds. Edwards working on his shot off the catch. And it is paying off. Here's Cunningham. It's good. Cunningham's got 33 points. It's amazing. No one can check him right now. But there's still work to do to cut into this lead. Pass to Reed. Out to Edwards. And again, Minnesota with the triple. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now, here's Durham. Dishes it to Ivy. Over Edwards. Durham, great positioning on the putback. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Conley with it. Does not fall through. He's missed six of his 14 attempts. Pistons trail by four. Pass to Cunningham. Shoots over Reed. Cunningham's shot is off. Minnesota shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. Outside, Edwards. They set the pick. A three. Detroit with the rebound. Passes it to Cunningham. Kicks it to Ivy. Fires the three. Good, and the assist goes to Cunningham. Ivy's got nine points here in the second half. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's a one-point game. One forty-nine left in the fourth quarter. No coverage, that's it. Conley's got five points now this quarter. You know, when they're searching for a basket, they look to Mike Conley to deliver. He's never rattled in big moments. Here's Cunningham, the 15-footer. Good. Cunningham's got 35. Jay Cunningham proves he can be relied on when they need a bucket. Edwards against Ivy. Shot from 12. Here's Gobert. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second change bucket right there. Go Bear looking comfortable stepping into the spotlight right now. Cunningham inside. For by Conley. Another three for Detroit. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Here's Edwards. And again, it's Minnesota. And the more experience Edwards gets, the better he'll become, especially when he's stepping up and hitting the big shots. Now, here's Cunningham. Ivy, no one around him. Oh, wow, a huge basket to tie the game. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Minnesota calls timeout.
there's 49 seconds left in the fourth. Ivy against Edwards. Three-pointer. Knocks down the trifecta. And he just seems to always deliver in the clutch. And, and he's got it going right now. That's who they want taking the big shot. Timeout called the Pistons. They're down by three. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, and looking at how much time they have, I think it's likely to see them try to get a good look and score quickly. Cunningham is used to having the spotlight on him, taking on the chance to come up big for his team. And so Cunningham nails both of them. He is absolutely the guy you want at the line in that situation. It just shows you how much he loves these moments. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possessions. Pass to McDaniels. Back to Reed. And there's the pass to Conley. Just three to shoot. Reed misses. Now a timeout <laughs> called by Detroit. They trail by one. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? This is where great coaching can pay dividends. These are the plays that people remember. I can't wait to see what he has devised. Cunningham outside. There's a screen to take the lead. Can't cash in. And so it's the Timberwolves who come out on top here. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win. And, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on the edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Rudy, what did the bench do to help you get this win tonight? They've been huge. You know, they, they brought us back in the game, and uh, everyone contributed. You know, it wasn't an easy night for us at the beginning, but uh, we kept fighting, and uh, it's a big win for us. And I'm sure you want to keep it going, man. Congrats. Back to you guys. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Edwards.